The streets of Kunduz city are full of cars again, but it will be a long time before life gets back to normal. Shopkeepers are still working out their losses. Many stores were destroyed in the fighting. We've lost about $20,000 in this shop without counting the cost of destruction of the building. We want the government to guarantee security for people's lives and their investment so people can come back and invest and live their lives. But the people of Kunduz don't have a lot of faith in the so-called national unity government of President Ashraf Ghani and his chief executive Abdullah Abdullah, two rivals now ruling together. The situation is good now, but we don't trust these two presidents or the chief executive. We are afraid if we borrow money and invest, we don't trust that the fighting won't happen again. And that means some shops remain closed. Many were looted in the fighting. They're struggling to open without enough supplies. The investment is totally gone from Kandos before we could borrow up to $5,000 of stock. Now they won't even give you $200, and that's all because of fighting. The city's biggest hotel says it hasn't had a reservation since the fighting stopped. Outside, women wait for handouts, a new ritual here. Many simply don't have money for food. The economic effects of the fall of Kunduz are being felt here in Kabul as well. This is the city's biggest appliance market, and business is way down. This washing machine is worth $650. It's on sale for $200, but there are no buyers. Mohammed Amin says his business has dropped by 80 percent. He says people who have money want to save it in case security gets worse. They're buying only what they need, no luxuries. So he's not buying much either. The fighting in Kunduz sent a message to shopkeepers to not invest in stocking our shops. Because the fighting was in Kunduz, tomorrow it could be in Kabul. Shopkeepers say they're not making enough to cover their rents. And they're worried about crime, too. Thieves took a whole safe from one business, containing a few thousand dollars and all their bookkeeping documents. Amin says his business has lost about $10,000 in the past seven months. And if the economy doesn't get better, he will consider leaving Afghanistan altogether. Jennifer Glass, Al Jazeera, Kabul.